Hello, welcome to How to Play the Game with No Name, a game for two players. Now, I saw this on uh, TikTok and found another video of it on YouTube, and as far as I know, this game does not have a name, but it involves Majon tiles, and it's basically just a four-suit uh, ranks one through nine plus one Joker deck is all you really need for this game. But I just don't know what the name of it is. And it plays much like a clock solitaire in this game. They're just uh, going from the uh, top and pushing the um, Bajong tiles down and taking the bottom one out. And if it belongs to that suit, to that opponent, uh, they keep it. Otherwise, they give it to their opponent. To repeat this game, uh, all you're going to need to do is get two decks of cards. And you're just going to take away uh, Ace through Nine and place in one pile. Uh, anything 10 and up you'll put in a second pile so that's basically all you have to do so just make sure your 10s go with the face card so all face cards removed and then remove one joker from either deck it doesn't matter which one but uh, basically 9 through ace in one pile and 10 and up in another pile pretty simple um, to do but somewhere along the lines I think uh, there's a miscommunication because as you see above in the deck above we are se uh, segregating the cards based on their rank, and uh, basically 9 and below or in one pile and 10 or above or another, but we managed to somehow leave a 10, so we actually had to take all the 10s out and redo this. So make sure you have 1 through 9 and a Joker in two decks of cards. So that's basically all you need to play this game. And uh, it's much like any Clock Solitaire, much like Aztec Pyramid Domino Solitaire, uh, you're just going to shuffle both decks together and uh, deal out uh, cards evenly. So in this case, it'll be um, essentially uh, 9 times 4. So should be 36 cards. Then the last card uh, that's in the uh, decks is going to be left out. So we're going to go ahead and deal the cards evenly to each player with one odd card remaining we will keep uh, out separately. But other than that, there really is not any decision making in this game. That's what you're going to discover when you're playing this. Is that uh, one thing we did was we basically allowed you to move any card anywhere you want. And uh, essentially uh, replace any card of your cho choice. Just make sure you have nine columns of four cards. So nine by four is all we're doing here. Uh, you can have them overlapping, you can have them uh, separated uh, by a space, uh, any way you want to do it. And to make this game a little bit better, you can just uh, replace any card with a card in hand. Now what's going to happen is uh, South is going to have all the uh, red cards, North is going to have all the black cards. North will be the start player, so I'm going to have North go ahead and take the odd card and flip it up. And basically, that's all we're doing. If a card is an ace, it'll go in the one spot, in the one column. If it is a two, it goes in the two column, three, three column, four, four column. Game is pretty much self-explanatory. Winning it is when you have all the cards face up in your suit. So it's a black suited card, so it'll go to north. You have to have all the cards um, face up in your suit. Um, and uh, you cannot have the joker face up. It has to be all the cards of that rank. Uh, so the Joker just is a placeholder. You can place it anywhere essentially. I have a red 8 so I'm going to put it in the 8 spot and I'm going to put it at the top. I'm going to take the bottom card, flip it up. It is a red ace so I'll take the bottom uh, ace card. It's a black 2 so it goes to my opponent. They'll put it in the second spot. They'll move a card up. It is a 5, a black 5 so that's theirs. They'll take the bottom card of the 5 stack and they have a black 6. They're going to go with the top card uh, they will flip it over it is a nine of diamonds so that belongs to me because it's a red nine i find a red five so one two three four five there's the five so I'll put it there flip over and i have a black five that belongs to my opponent my opponent's then going to take it and see what other cards are available there's a black ace so we're going to move that one we do have a red six that will just go to me Pretty self-explanatory game, just a major time killer. There's no real decisions to make other than which card to replace, and even that's not much of a decision. It's going to be pretty much pure luck, whoever wins this game. 
Uh, there's not very much strategy to be had because there really is no strategy other than just having good luck and picking the right card to replace. Now, in the Majan game, all they were doing was knocking the top uh, tile down and taking whatever the bottom one that came out. In this case, we could actually have a little bit of choice here. Not that we took much of it. We pretty much did the same thing. So now I've caught the Magical Joker. Now, this can go into any column of my choosing. I don't yet have any red fours. So I could put it with the red fours and just bump that card to see what it is. And that's what I'll do. I have a red six, so it's st staying in my possession. Now there's a black nine, so that goes to my opponent. My opponent goes ahead and uh, decides what to do with it. She'll take the uh, bottom card. And it is a red eight. We will continue the same process we had before. And now I have a black seven that goes to her because it's a black suited card. And then we see a black six and now I got a red five so now it's my turn again so I'll place it down and uh, take the bottom card it's a black two so there we go now we're gonna go ahead and take the bottom of the twos and we have a black eight we'll take the bottom of the eight stack another black eight what great luck and there we have a red three so take the bottom card I have a red eight now I've completed a suit and I've come up with another red five. So my eight suit is complete. I have all four eights of the red suits, so perfect. I no longer need any red eights. And now I have a red four. The first red four has appeared, and I'm going to go ahead and take uh, the joker out. I'm just gonna leave it there. Uh, now I could take that joker out and put it somewhere else, but I went ahead and left it where it is, and I'll put it with the twos. Now I see I have a red five, so now my fives are complete, and it is a black eight, so it goes right to my opponent. And they'll go ahead and take the bottom card. They have a black two. They'll take the bottom card of the twos. They have another black seven. There's three out of four. They'll take the second to last, but it's a red three, so I'll take the last three. My threes are complete. It is a black five. Her uh, fives will be complete, so now the bottom of the fives will be, let's see what it is. Slow reveal, we have a red six. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, place it where it is and find a red two. Let's see what this card will be. It's a red ace, and now we have a black four that goes right to her. It's her turn again. Just take the bottom card, but it's a red four, so that belongs to me. Now I can either take the joker or take the bottom card. I'll take the bottom card, but it's a black four. So she takes the bottom card. She has a black ace. And we have a red ace, so now that's mine. I put either card. I'm going to go ahead and go with the bottom one, and it's a black three. goes right to her. She has the eights completed now, and it passes a red seven to me. That, of course, will go in the sevens pile, sevens column. Now my aces are complete, and I have a four. Now my fours are not yet complete, but I show up a black nine, so that turn is over. And let's see which card she chooses. She goes to the bottom one, and it is a six. Sixes are complete. And uh, she has her nines complete, nines, eights. And it passes a red nine to me. I'll go ahead and take the bottom and put the top card off, and it's a six. Uh, there's a black seven, so now her sevens are complete. And I'm just hoping to get my red four and my red seven, my two red nines. I have a red two that pops up and a red seven that pops up so my sevens are complete but there's a three that's black for her she gets another black three of just tremendous luck and passes me the final red four so now i can play this anywhere i want but there's only one real choice Do i take the top or bottom card of this uh, stack i'll take the top it's a black four her fours are complete she passed me a red nine and let's see, I need a red 9 to win, and I have a red 9, so therefore the game is over. I have won, I have all the cards that I need. So like always, if you actually want to attempt this game in a public place uh, where strangers can be met and become new friends, and people can witness if anything wrong happens and protect you, go ahead and come to our subreddit card game meetups. Tell us what public place you're interested in doing this, what card games you know, what games you might be willing to learn or teach. Do check under the description uh, to find all the pertinent information like other videos I enjoy, rules, and a link to a Discord server where we have some fun and talk about card games all day and every day. Do call up your friends and let them know that you'd like to play some cards. You never know what they might say. 
They might say yes, they might say no, maybe they won't even answer your call. You'll find out who your friends really are. Do like and subscribe and share these videos with other people you know like playing card games and do under the community tab vote for this month's game of the month. And I want to thank today's musician, Evan uh, Breitschik. I should have probably tried practicing that name a few times. Anyways, check out his music. Uh, he had an excellent piano cover of a horse with no name for this video on a game with no name. And if you know the name of this game, please share it in the comments. And I'll see you next video.